Ang sagyan, yeah, diba? magandang gabi or umaga or tanghali. Whatever you are, diba? Diba? Okay to, film, no? So, welcome again sa IDM mo session. IDM mo si Chef Pao. Ano ulit ang IDM? I-direct message mo. So, today, special session to kasi uh, hindi ako yung magsasalita ngayon. We have a special guest actually para dito sa sessions natin, ano? So, oh. by the way, no, bago namin pakilala yung special guest natin, andyan na yung picture niya, <laughs> di ba? Si, si Pim, Pim, siguro yes, siya mo yes. sa viewers natin, anong, ano ba ginagawa natin? I mean, sa, sa food solution, di ba? Brief background lang. Mm. Uh, yeah, right now we're in... Teka, sorry. Maingi sa akin, Jeff, eh. Huwag na, huwag na ako. Okay na. Maingi, maingi dito, eh. Wala ka Hindi, to. okay lang. Y- y- yung aso mo lang, eh. Walang, walang problema. Work okay from lang. home. Lahat naman tayo work from home, eh. Ano ba ginagawa natin sa Unilever Food Solutions? Itong IDM mo natin na uh, with a guest, actually third episode na natin to, no? Um, uh, what we usually do now is uh, go maximize our online content, no? Uh, with that, we still like support, inspire, and progress our partners, our operators sa uh, sa UFS, no? So, yun. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Oh, So, today, ayan na, excited na ako. Again, mabilis lang to, no? Uh, chef siya before sa Unilever Food Solutions. Yun yung maganda dito, Fim. So, isa sa mga close friends natin yan dito sa industriya, sa, sa labas, di ba? So, madali siyang i-invite sa kung anumang event natin, di ba? Uh, before, nag-mandarin siya. Chef siya ng mandarin before, mandarin hotel. And then, nag it Tani hotel din siya. Yun. Uh, hotel. And then, after that, Unilever Food Solutions, naging chef din siya. Hawak niya nun ay... Uh, Besides Mindanao, kung hindi nagkakamali. Ah. And then, tinayunin nila yung, with his team, of course, yung Rob Ribs. Are you big? Kung hindi pa kayo nakakain sa Rob Ribs, nako, kumain na kayo. Grabe. Na lagi na feature yan. Tsaka oh, may bago oh. silang, mamaya isi-share niyo yung bago nilang uh, online delivery, food delivery mm. business, which is mm-hmm. uh, exciting. Di ba? Excited ako. Mawayan, na mawayan. Isi-share niyo naman mamaya. Di ba? So, Fim, so, without further ado, pakilala na natin. Chef Martin, ka big thing. Whoa. Hey, Chef Martin. Hey. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Chef. Welcome back to UFS. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Yes, 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 yes. Chef, uh, sorry, you know. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live, live. Ding, 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 ding. Hello. Hello, props. Oh, my. And they actually, madali lang to, siguro. Chef, Chef Martin, um, maganda siguro ipaki-share kasi brief background lang yung share ko kanina. Paki-share yeah. sa viewers natin. Ano bang ano bang ginagawa mo ngayon or before? So briefly lang, anong uh, diba, backgrounder lang? Yung before ano yan. Uh, sabi nga ni Chef Pau dati sa hotel sa ako nag-work. So yung Mandarin and Dusit and then I had a few stints sa mga restaurants then in between no. Uh, before going to UFS, uh, Unilever Food Solutions. No? Uh, tama, si Pao, I was handling Visayas, Mindanao. Uh, nagkaroon ng time na I was handling GMA and I think oh. I was helping out si Chef Datu noon sa... Ikutan, no? Ikutan tayo noon. Eh. Pero naging priority ko noon was uh, Bismin talaga. Uh, so, yeah. madalas yung mga ikot-ikot, kanya. Which, ano rin, no? Um, looking back, marami ako natutunan. Kasi nga, gaya na sabi ni Chef Pao, uh, yung mga chefs, uh, marketing and sales team ng Unilever uh, were very helpful sa mga operators. No? So, pagka mayroong problema si chef account or si operator account, um, nandyan ang UFS to help out and uh, try to sort things out no? kung ano tingin nila kung saan makatulong um, yung mga expertise no? ng marketing, ng uh, culinary, uh, even ng sales team ng, ng UFS. So, dahil dyan, Nagkaroon din ako ng lakas ng loob no na magsimula nung maliit naming business no nung 2011. So when I left Unilever, um tinayo namin yung Rob Ribs and Barbecue no 2011. So next year magte 10 years na kami no? so exciting Good. din siya. Wow, so, 10 years so, na oh, di ba? Oh, oh, galing. Congratulations, di ba? Isak mata. Oh. So galing. yun. So basically now I'm doing Yung sa mga restaurants namin, so meron kami nung Rob, meron kami Unani. Uh, we're also running a commissary business din. So, um, those three things are very much uh, uh, keeping me busy uh, nowadays. Itong commissary yeah. niyo, Chef, uh, Cloud Kitchen or ano? Talagang... No, it's, yeah. a, it's a commissary, ano talaga. Uh, so, we service our, 
our own brands mm-hmm. and then uh, ngayon we 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 have some clients na rin na uh, na ibang ano na ibang uh, ibang clients na no so ibang accounts na talaga so um, nice. we service a few other establishments through our commissary but yeah the idea of cloud kitchen is also there especially ngayon no, with this pandemic parang nagiging option na rin siya um, but uh you know, we have to think about it lang kung paano lang i-execute yung cloud kitchen na po. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Jeff Pao. Ano may hawak sa kanila before ikaw, di ba, Fim? Hindi ba ikaw? Or si Tyrone? Para hindi eh. Para hindi. Ah, GMA, o. Oh, GMA, o. Oh. Ayan, o. Oh. Hindi bali. Sige, <laughs> sige. <laughs> Let's move on. Kasi nagpadala na tayong sample sa kanila. Gamit na nga ni Chef Martin nung isang you know. Sabado ba yun? Nung isang last yes, week. Yes, last week, di ba? Yes, last week. Oh, Right, right. Diba? Yeah. So, right. So, again, as food solutions, nandito tayo to share. Diba? To share yung, eh, syempre, mga expert natin, expert uh, resource people, eh, katulad yeah. ni Chef Martin. So, may mga guide questions tayo para kay Chef Martin para naman ma-share natin sa mga viewers, ano bang future? Diba? Ito na. Tin- tinatanong ko na. Eh. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> tinatanong yeah, ko na. Okay, ito na yung guide question. So, Chef Martin, what do you see in the future of food service given this situation? Kasi, isa sa mga pinaka-challenging part ng isang mga, isang may restaurant, may negosyo, itong ganitong sitwasyon, naging skeletal ka, maya-maya, bawal na lumabas sa mga tao, so, yung iba, nag-adapt, delivery. So, ano, ano na yung kita mo ngayon in the future? Uh, so at least for for restaurant uh, or, or uh, food-related no na businesses, maybe a food manufacturer or um, standalone restaurant, restaurant man yan or QSR, uh, I think everybody is in the same page kung ano yung nararanasan ng isa. Ano yun, yung scale-wise, I think it's it's pretty much the same for everyone. So sa future, honestly, syempre, we want to be, uh, to think positive, no, na maging, uh, maging okay yung lahat. No? But uh, I think not in the nearest future kasi na makakalabas freely yung mga tao. Uh, I think people are still um, hesitant to go out. No? Pag pupunta ka sa mall, I don't know kung nakapunta na kayo sa mall, um, parang mas konti yung tao ngayon sa mall compared sa before. Um, people who go to malls are actually, uh, at least from my point of view, feeling ko parang purposeful yung pagpunta nila sa mall. So they go in, they do what they need to do, and then get out. No? So wala na yung parang, uh, oh, kahit tayo dito, ganyan, tapos mag-coffee yeah. tayo dito, tapos mag dessert tayo dito, no? wala nang ganun. So parang, it's either you do your grocery in the mall and then you get out. So parang, um, kumbaga, uphill, ano talaga, uphill climb for everyone. But, I mean, lahat naman ng mga pangyayari sa buhay, no? let's try to look at the the, the better picture, no? uh, kung ano yung natututunan din natin dito. No? So from, from, at least from my point of view, I think um, we learned a few things living with what we actually really need versus what we want, no? From all aspects yan, ha? Pag, pag, chef, pag hindi naman ako kunwari sa menu mo pa lang, no? Yung menu mo, parang meron ka doon mga, you have those parts ng menu na very, parang vanity lang siya na na, na menu, no? Or pang complement lang siya. But, eh, when when you do the numbers, it's not really selling that well. So, uh, ngayon, actually for, at least for us, for Rob, no? We trim down our menu for like, I think 50% of our menu were taken out. So, okay. naka-streamline na talaga siya. So, Cold less inventory, yeah. less headache, um, yeah. especially if you're working with a skeletal workforce. Uh-huh. So, minsan, kahit mag-isa, dalawa lang sila sa kitchen. No problem. Kasi, Maandar. mas konti yung, ano eh, mas konti yung uh, items na you're trying to serve. No? And at least you, what you are trying to serve your customers are your best selling items kumbaga no? yes. so yun, yun yung isang ginawa namin na na move din no um, i think we, we will be sticking with this menu that we have now for siguro until middle of next year mm-hmm. um, um, until mag normalize talaga lahat no mm-hmm. um, so yun. so i think in the, in the future um inga, let's try to focus on the things that we need versus the things that we want lang in our business, no? Uh, may mga certain positions uh, sa business natin na parang, oh, hindi pala natin kailangan talaga to, no? Um, I think somebody else can do this or, alam mo yan, parang shared expertise na lang siya ng isang tao or something, no? So, 
um, mas mas na streamline yung 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 business and I think we're learning more about our business than than ever no kasi ngayon mas nakikita natin talaga especially for the operators no for the for the business owners mas nakikita nila yung um yung takbo talaga nung business nila during this this uh time of pandemic Sakto nga, Chef, I wanted to ask nga uh, kung tingin mo kung kailan uh, maging effective yung reduced menu, no? Uh, if most, if not all, of the restaurants actually did that. Uh, parang yun yeah. natin first step na ginawa nila, eh, no? Nireduce sila to their best sellers muna yeah. for, for a time. Uh, then, parang nga, kasi doon ka muna mag-focus for, for now. But you think na there's gonna be like a time na kailangan na mag-innovate, like put something new to your menu na. Do you think it's something uh, uh, na restaurants would prioritize in the near future? Or hindi pa siya masyado? I think, ano naman, siguro, again, no, kumbaga we're starting off parang na-level na- na- out lahat ng, ano, eh, no, ng mga businesses. No? So parang, um, yung pag-reduce ng menu, um, starting it from, let's say, from scratch. No? Ako, I literally took off all the, the menu items and literally, um, inisa-isa ko yung listahan, which one's selling and which one's not. Um, and then, did the study rin, kasi syempre, yung, um, yung economics din nung, nung puting a menu, uh, that, that dish, no? For example lang, in our, in our menu, one of our best sellers were, was, was our, uh, Rob, parang Rob Salpicao. No? Mm-hmm. It was fast moving, but, that's the only use of my beef in oh, the menu. Right. Mm-hmm. Kasi since the other uh, uh, the other dishes na using that same beef uh, wasn't selling that much. So parang I will introduce that I will buy and procure that uh, that meat again just for the salpicao. Yes, yes. Which I think oh. was not uh, feasible then in the long run. Then. Mm-hmm. So parang mm-hmm. yun, completely I just took it out and then mm-hmm. Siguro live through date na lang din. I mean, pero eventually, alam mo yun, mer- ayan, meron kami parts ng menu na nasa top 10 items or even top 15 items namin na I think slowly we will inject in our, ano rin, in our men- menu. Kasi syempre, dadating din sa point din, uh, especially now, I think we are more than 6, 7 months na tayo naka yeah. technically lockdown. Um, oh. Eventually, people will start looking for new things yeah, um, yeah. especially if they're going for your restaurants parang they will look for variety na ulit eh. yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah. sa bahay yan eh oh oh, oh, oh wala nang puro ribs lang di ba yeah. so parang oh. uh, at least mag-offer ng shrimps or again ng beef or something else um siguro ako i'm i'm looking at quarter 1 eh, na gawin mm-hmm. yung mga introduction na yun so sa ngayon lang kasi parang since na level out nga siya starting from scratch you wanted your staff to be more uh, familiar with the yeah. menu. We yeah. want your staff to maggrasp nila na, oh, dalawa lang tayo magluluto dito or tatlo lang tayo, no? May ibang kitchen, mag-isa lang sila. Okay, mm-hmm. kaya ba natin to? So, until they, they they get the ball rolling na kaya na nila, then you start introducing na those, yeah. those new items. Which mm-hmm. I think, yeah, siguro yeah. by December lang, marami mm-hmm. na ma-introduce na mga Probably. Yeah, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Babawi na iba eh. It's a perfect time oh, oh. para mag-introduce. Nice, nice. Yeah. Diba? Ang ganda ng ano na yun. Galing, galing, galing. Very insightful. Oh. Okay ba, okay ba, okay ba? Oh, very insightful, di ba? Ah, ba? Kasi nakita mo. So, core talaga. Yun yung, ano, yun yung objective. Core tapos yeah. create ng bago. Actually, yun yun. Patalon tayo sa second question, no? Yeah. So, uh, sa, sa tingin mo, Chef Marks, uh, how do we recover hotels, restaurants, and other food service outlets, no? Given, eto na, uh, seven months, eight months na ba tayo? Na ganito, yeah. may mga ways na ba tayo para mag-recover sa, sa inyong, ano, well, sa inyong um, Like, for us, ako personally, um, yung pag-recover, it, it's uh, talaga mabagal siya na proseso. No? Uh, honestly, um, hindi, hindi siya magiging, I don't see it recovering for like the next three, six months, let's say. Para again, sabi nga nila, diba, just survive this year and you'll be fine. But, um, syempre, more than that, you wanna do more than just survive. Eh, no? um, kasi syempre, after you survive, kailangan pang mabuhay. Eh. Um, at, yeah, so, uh, ano, ano yung estado mo after that? After surviving, yeah, 
parang ano naman yung what's next, di ba? Parang ganun. No? So, um, marami mga groups. I think, Chef Paul, you mentioned yung mga groups na that, that helps out. May mga webinars, may mga, yeah, oh. may mga talks back on page. how to... Yeah. Yung bounce back PH. Um, I, I, I joined this group, yung Rest to PH, headed by Rest to PH, sila oh. Eric. Yeah, sila Eric oh. Tang. Diba? Which, ano, that group was malaking tulong sa amin. No? Kasi oh. yung mga nandun, mga bigati na pangalan na parang mga hindi yeah. mo yeah. akalain. No? Na lumalabas sa Viber mo yung mga pangalan nila. No? Pero, and they were, they, were, ano, they were very helpful kasi in terms of yung mga information dissemination di ba hmm. so, yun yung ano eh actually yung pinakamalaking challenge sa ngayon eh operating the business now as it is parang eh, it's sige lang parang kailangan mo lang siya daanan eh the challenge the hurdle really is yung mga policies that we have to follow alam oh. mo yun yung biglang uy lockdown tayo next week or next week okay na okay parang yeah. this week face shield tayo next week wala tayong face shield di ba parang yun yung medyo ma- ma- mahirap for operators to implement then on our on our own syempre sa amin kahit maliit lang kami we try to follow these things no but um syempre may takot din eh kasi kung mahuli ka pwede ka pa lang ma yeah, oh. di ba May, meron nakulong pa sila alam mo para ITF yeah. kasi no yeah. yeah. ginawa oh, nila so, ano, eh. batas eh oh. Yun yung ano, yun lang yung feeling ko yung sana ma- ma-improve ng government natin. But, I mean, aside from that, feeling ko yung, <clears throat> yung recovery, I think if most will recover naman. Um, again, it will just be a very, very slow process. Um, again, ito yung time nga to really reflect and understand your business kung talagang it's doing okay or not. But, um, this is also the best time to, yun nga, understand lang eh kung ano yung needs and wants lang. Ako feeling ko yun yung bottom line ng any businessman or any business for that matter to understand ito ba talaga ikailangan ng business ko or is this something that luho ko lang to na hindi ko naman kailangan talaga. So, yeah. And then hopefully the bo- you 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 will see the you know seeing those two things you will see kung ano yung bottom line talaga ng numbers mo through those things. There. See? Uh, Interesting points. Insights, no? Di ba? Interesting points. So, so, at least, yes, yes. so, yung mga, kung paano i-recover, gano'n na nga. Yun lang yung challenges nila. Depende kung anong, kung nasan city ka, kung anong utos oh, nila. Oh, actually, sa oh. pag- so, may mga city na pwede to, may city na hindi pwede to. So, oh, parang, yes, mas yes. magulo yun. Mas magulo. Oh. Yeah, kasi iba-iba na yung ano nila eh. May Makati oh, si eh. branch nila eh. Meron sila QC. Oo oh, nga. Oh, eh. oh, nga. Oh. Oh. So parang yeah. yung yung paggather ng momentum minsan na uudlot dahil dun sa mga rules na ganun ngayon eh no. Yeah, it's 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 that's one. Um actually paggather ng momentum is harder talaga ngayon. No? I think I mentioned this before nagkakwentuhan kami ni Chef Pao. Ang mahirap kasi ngayon parang uh, sabi ko nga no pag kunare you go to Makati. Uh, I think si Films familiar with our Makati store sa along Reposo. No? Oh, Before, yes, yes. if nandun ka sa area ng reposo, parang the options na titignan mo along reposo is, you know, those restaurants sa may SM, yeah. um, oh. siguro Rob, um, siguro those restaurants in Century, ganyan. Yes. Ngayon, if you're in reposo, I can actually have a, have food delivered from all the way from Pasay or yep. all the way from Novaliches, Quezon City. Yep. Sobrang yep. ang sarap niya talaga, di ba? So, mas mas lumaki yung competition no mas lumaki yung competition mas um, in a way humirap din yung ano nga kasi nga medyo mas mala, mas marami na yung kinakalaban mo rin no? but uh, i mean again let's look at the bright side of things no if if may umuorder na nasa opposite side of metro manila pwede rin silang umorder sa yo no True. so like this i mean i was surprised na may umorder sa sa unani ng taga pasay parang umorder siya ng Japanese food from food from Pasay no so parang ang layo but yeah parang we try to take advantage of those things no para yeah. um lumaki rin yung market mo tama tama yeah. the, right, the opportunities so, we have now it's very very limitless no yeah 
Sige, go ahead, Jeff. Bigger, bigger. Creative lang, alam mo, maging creative. Mm-hmm. Okay, last question kasi magluluto pa si Chef Marty. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Para may plug na rin niya yung mga, mga buhay. restaurant. So, busy-busy yan eh. So, ito na yung last question natin. Do you see food innovations for 2021? Malapit na yun. Ilang buwan na lang. In either a food innovation or, or packaging, I don't know, basta innovation about our landscape. Kung or no, kahit yung logistics ng business. Oo, oh, may nakikita yeah. ba kayo? A- ako, feeling ko, um, mal- malaking like a food innovation na pwedeng, usibo yung mangyari talaga will be the ano nga ng cloud kitchens. No? So, that's one. I think, um, with restaurants without dine-in sa kanilang stores, um, you're paying per square meter, you're still paying for your dining space. Eh, no? So you have to make the most out of your space, every square meter of your space. Eh. Um, may ibang landlords na tawan ng Diyos, they understand, they gave discounts, they gave, I think, iba percentage pa nga, di ba? Yeah. Which is good, but may iba na hindi. Um, that's when you have to maximize your space. And I think the cloud kitchen idea is, is the way to go. No? Um, medyo may uphill um, battle lang din dun sa cloud kitchen kasi you know you, ha- you still have to market your 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 brand no? but I, I think that's one innovation and a very smart ano rin, no? um, to make use of your space um, innovation wise um, like for us kunari sa Rob in one of our stores uh, we, we tried it out pa lang sa isang store namin sa May Roses so aside from dine in Again, we tried to maximize the space. We placed actually a parang a mini parang grocery siya by the entrance of our restaurant. So since okay. hindi mo naman din magagamit yung buong space, uh, so when you enter, uh, may mini grocery. Merong, oh. Hindi naman siya grocery, ah. sorry. We have this frozen food brand. Oh. Ah, I think na okay. si Manong Manuel, no? Okay. Ayun nga, so, oh, i-share mo mamaya. Oo. Oh. Oo. So yan, parang si Manong, si Manong Manuel is actually an online store. Matagal na to, actually mga 20, we, we built this mga 2017 pa. No? But mm-hmm. parang ngayon siya naging very, ano rin, naging busy rin siya. Yeah. Si Manong. No? But uh, yeah, si Manong, we, we have our frozen items there, we have our sauces ready. So parang kung naghihintay ka lang ng order, mapapasilip yung customers. Um, pwedeng additional income, at least nagamit yung square meter, yung space na yun, no? Kesa, tama, tama, it's just oh. blank space, no? Um, innovation pagdating sa food, kung sa food per se, parang um, I don't think magkakaroon ng uh, sobrang life-changing na mga innovations coming up soon. Um, but I think, you know, the, the usual um, the Korean food will will evolve. Um, I think now I, I see yung Korean hot dogs, yung mga Korean na, na mga street food. Ngayon, nagiging restaurant pa sila dito. Um, but in terms of um, just a specific dish, parang piniko ko wala masyado. Kasi nga, piniko ko lahat ng tao would be, would go for the sure, uh, ano yun, no? parang yung sure, oh, original, oh, classics, oh. no? Like, nung isang araw nga, Chef, uh, Fim, I, I was in a mall, no? And I was asking my wife kung, kung what brought, what will bring you to this certain restaurant, no? Um, kasi parang sigurado ka na kung kakain ako dito, eh. Di ba? Parang, dito na ako sa sigurado. Yeah. Hindi na ako mm. medyo magte-testing siguro ng... Yes. Sa panahon ngayon, lalo na. Oo. Oh. Mm. Mm. Nawala pa siya. Teka, nawala. Nawala sandali. May dumaan. No, parang sulit po ako dito sa mall. Parang gano'n. Or kung saan man ako pupunta. No? So, I think in terms of food, magiging gano'n din. Uh, medyo masigurista rin yung mga... Yung... Uh, Chef Marts. Naglalag yata. Sige, pa- paano sandali? Yeah. Pa-recover natin. Pa-recover. Sandali. <laughs> Baka nag-download. Download speed. <laughs> Sorry. Upload speed, kasi. upload speed, uh, upload speed. <laughs> <laughs> Nag, ano, yeah, yan. I think okay na, yan. Yeah. Bumalik na, yeah. bumalik na. Oh, I think okay na. So, okay naghan na. yung screen niya. Ayan, yan. Yeah. Okay na. Nag, yeah, yan. Okay, okay. Ayan na, okay na, okay na. Oh. Sige, Chef. Okay na saying, we lost yeah, you yeah. sa, ano eh. Nag-stop. Ano ba yung nasa sinasabi? Uh, yung ano, 
Hindi, tapos na rin Kasi sa... Nga, parang uh, alala, sa siguro ngayon, in, sa, in, in, into mm-hmm. innovation sa... In sa, oh, mall. sa mall. In sa mall. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of, ano lang, innovation sa dishes, baka not much kasi nga, we want to be sure of what we serve to sa ano. Parang mahirap maging risky for, you know, to do something risky now. No? Kaya, feeling ko, yeah. um, hindi pa masyado siguro, no, for the coming months. Yeah. Sa logistics, um, I think, um, Siyempre, yung mga third-party na delivery services, mamamayag pag talaga sila. Um, I see a lot of mo. new brands. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I just hope we see a, a brand na maging helpful din sa restaurant operators na medyo mas maliit yung percentage na kukunin nila. Oh. <laughs> Kasi ngayon, medyo malaki rin yung pinukunin ng no, percentage. Eh. No? Oh. So, um, but yeah, uh, malaking ano talaga sila eh. Malaking Malaking Tulong. help din in, in surviving Tumatakbo the business. yung produkto mo, yo. Yeah. Oo, oh, totoo. So, and again, no, ngayon, meron na silang deliver parang anywhere na nga eh. Parang may uh, long distance delivery na sila. Wala nang radius, etc. So, um, yeah, logistics-wise, feeling ko, it, it will still be the same. We'll, we'll have more players ng delivery services coming up for sure. Um, again, pagdating sa... I think logistics will be another key thing then and part of logistics will be your packaging then no? so feeling ko people will restaurants will start um, investing on their packaging um kasi eto na eh, uh, unlike before you, when you're in a restaurant you try to sell experience to your customers no? yeah para may certain minsan nakakatawa para pupunta ka sa si restaurant kasi may distinct smell siya. May amoy dito. Uh, <laughs> Parang amoy classic ng lugar. Right? Uh, diba? Pero, okay. Ang galing ng banda, ang galing sarap ng food. No? So, yeah, that's mga, part of the experience. Uh, oh. Ngayon, the challenge with the delivery is how do you sh- give the experience to your uh, customers sa bahay nila? Yes. You know? So, yes. I've, I've seen some restaurants na ginastos lang talaga yung packaging nila. It, it feels like it looks um, you're, like you're eating in their restaurant din. Um, obviously, feeling ko napakamahal ng packaging nila. But, uh, uh-huh. ang galing, ang galing. I mean, that's that's how you do it. And uh, uh, for restaurant operators, uh, I think that's the goal is we we give the ser- this experience through delivery. No, So, yung experience for whatever restaurant na maisip ninyo, may be a Filipino, Japanese, Chinese restaurant, yung experience na yan madala sa bahay nila I think that that's the goal and I think that malaking role dyan will be yung packaging and uh, um, how you serve it then yeah right yep. tama, good, good. tama. Yeah. oh nice ang dami inside di ba dami yep. natutunan no? every day is a new day di ba yep. so yep. dami na siya so ganito Chef Martin share naman sa viewers natin yung mga branches nyo kasi yeah. syempre na curious eh ang dami yung ang dami na sabi kanina yung rub yung U, ano uh, unani unani, unani yeah. eh, di ba saan ba yan kaya yung uh, yung uncle, uncle may nakita ako yung si kagabi yung uncle, uncle <laughs> ano? iba yan sa yun yung ano ko pag weekend lang ah, pag weekend oh, oh, oh okay. ah, manong manuel manong manuel Man- yeah. sige isa-isa natin paki-plug na nga saan yung mga so yung raw ro- ribs and barbecue uh, locations niya are in uh, Roses Quezon City Roses Corner Scout to Bias Quezon City um, Scout Rallyos in Quezon City. Uh, we also have a branch. Oh, that's we also have a branch in Barangay Capitolio, Pasig City. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin, di ba? Okay. Yes. Um, and yung uh, rub ribs and barbecue sa Makati naman, which is a long reposo. Or, Repos- sorry, it's lang. Nicanor Garcia na pala siya ngayon. In Garcia. Oh. Do, oh. So may simbahan. Oh. Lagpas pa ng simbahan, di ba? Oo, oh, lagpas ng simbahan. Papuntang ano, nakalayaan na yata yun. Papuntang yes. kalayaan, J.P. Oh. Rizal. Yes. Ito ba, Tapos, kasi, uh, itong, itong rub, nasa ano kayo? Uh, anong food delivery kayo? Nasa Pax Food grab, Panda, Grab? Oh. Um, food Panda, not all stores. Uh, but Grab, all stores siya. Um, but again, you can also call the stores lang. You can check yung Facebook namin. Nandun naman yung mga details. You can actually message us in Facebook. We're very responsive sa Facebook oh, or Instagram. Facebook. Uh, agad, actually, diba? most of our orders doon na, doon na lang din dumada no, sa Messenger. So, oh. uh, 
uh, we have a uh, staff na nagre-reply talaga to those messages. No? So they, we also arrange yung mga delivery kung uh, kahit saan. So kung, kung kami yung mag arrange ng delivery, sila yung mag customer mag arrange ng delivery, uh, we, we can do those things then for for them. Pero Chef, may dining na rin kayo, ano? Right now? Uh, just for, ano, for Roses. Okay. Branch, okay. No? Hindi pa lahat. Uh, soon, hopefully, Ne, baka next week or next next week mag-start yung sa Makati. Alright. Oh. Alright. Na, diba? na, ano, yeah. Tapos yung ibang ano? Unani. Unani, yan, unani kaka... is in ano, uh, Scout Limbaga naman. Quezon City. So oh. Unani is a Japanese restaurant. Uh, we specialize in our uh, mga yakitori, kushiyaki. Uh, but ngayon, we're, 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 we're promoting uh, our onigiri line talaga. So, actually, doon na medyo nakikilala si Unani rin sa onigiri. So, we have oh. different variants of uh, onigiri. Onigiri are those, yung mga rice balls, kung tawagin. Oh. You, ah, okay. Uh, you would normally see this sa mga Japanese uh, convenience stores. Uh, convenience stores. Yan. Uh, okay, yun pala yun. Oo. So, there. So, we have that available. Tapos, we have our online store din. Again, that's Manong Manuel. Yun, yun, yun. So, si Manong Manuel naman, this is a, this, this is a business nga na matagal namin tinayo. So, we do uh, mga chilled and frozen items. So, mga sauces. Yun. We have our meats, Cloud mga marinated. Diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, meron mga cooked items, ready to heat. May mga ready to cook na items na frozen din. So, that's Manong Manuel naman. Nice. So yung weekend Facebook na sinasabi ni ano, sinasabi ni Chef Pao, that's actually uh, a personal thing that we do here sa house pagka weekend. So, oh, yung family yung uncle, ano, nito, oh. si uncle and oh. auntie. So, it's very, very, oh. ano, very new pa lang siya. So, we specialize in mga ano naman, mga Singaporean, Asian food. So, we Kita specialize in mga Hainanese chicken. Uh, daming cuisine, no? daming lang ginagawa. Oh, grabe, grabe. <laughs> si, ano yan? Cere- cereal prawns, salted egg. Oh, yan, no? Uy, sakto. Yun yung ano yan, may aki oh. Chef Ken. Oo, oh, di ba? Yan nga eh. Manunod ako nun. <laughs> sakto, Manunod sakto. Manunod ko si Chef Ken. Oh. Oh. Good, good, Oy. good. And, and now, yes, ano, yes. Pim. Yes, Pim, sir. share mo naman yung ano, mga produkto natin. And yung website kung saan nila pwedeng dalawin. Diba? For us naman, no? Since so, nag-plug si Chef Martin. Tayo na mag-plug. Uh, if you want to buy our <laughs> UFS products, at kung ayaw nyo lumabas sa, sa inyong bahay, available sa, sa Shopee and Lazada. Just go there and look for Unilever Foods Store. Not yan, uh, Shopee and Lazada. Go ahead. Yeah. Great, great. Oh, eh, website. Eh, oh, website. website natin if you want recipes, oh. ufs.com. Tsaka may Instagram din tayo, Chef, no? Uh, oh. For Instagram, follow us sa Unilever Food Solutions underscore PH for Instagram. Follow great, nyo. great, great. Yep. Di ba? So yun lang, no? Ay- ayaw na natin storbin Chef Martin dahil oh. magluluto pa sila ng auntie, auntie and uncle. <laughs> uncle, auntie. Nga, oh, dahil weekend ngayon eh. Weekend, oh. pe-preps na yan eh. Di ba? <laughs> great, anyway, great. Maraming great salamat. Again, oh. Chef Martin. Thank you. Maraming Thank salamat. You. Okay, again, si Chef Martin kabigting ng Rob Ribs, ng Manong Manuel, uh, Unani, and uh, uncle and auntie. Oh, di ba? Maraming right. salamat. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chef. So thank you so much again. See you on our next uh, video sessions. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.